Hello, hi. Um, this is figures, <laughs> and I'm going to be ranking all the Call of Duty Zombies, um, Call of Duty Zombies maps. Now, you usually don't see this on my channel. I usually only do Geometry Dash, but we're gonna do something different. So, y yeah, I've already made a. a th a tier called not played which is just l game maps i've never played so yeah and i'm gonna do a noah j456 did close my eyes and pick one and yeah so first one descent 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 is like a B. It's it's good, it's fun, it's enjoyable, but there are way better maps. And next we have I didn't pick one. Bus Depot. If we're just talking survival, it's a D. There's only like six there's only like four wall guns. And like uh uh, one mystery box location and that's it there's like nothing to best depot next one the giants the giants is definitely above descent actually no it's not because it's a remake and it didn't really add a whole lot besides new guns hd and double pack a punch so it's gonna go below descent, but it's still a B tier. Next. Oh wait, I've never played Dead in the Night. Ha! Next. Zombies in Spaceland. This is at least an A or higher. Maybe an S. Spaceland is so good. Four wonder weapons. The ticket system. The souvenir coins where you can put it in and get new items. It, w it was it was amazing and the Easter egg even though it wasn't really an Easter egg the the boss fight was cool this is at least an A or higher let's, let's just put an A for now I might change my mind next <sighs> voyage of despair this map is literally despair It's at least a D or F. It, oh, it's gonna go above does bus depot. Carrier never played. Shangri La. This. This is better than Descent. Uh. Because it was interesting. It had two boss zombies. The baby gun. Um. What else did it add? It was hard. But. Yeah. I just. I just like it better than Descent. It, it looked very nice too. Buried. This is below space line, but very close. Buried. It's the best casual zombies experience you can ever get. It's so relaxing. And if you just need to take your mind off things, buried. It's it's so easy. The paralyzer's awesome. The witches. I mean, they're wishes. W wishes. And it, it it it's just a good map. Next, attack of the radioactive thing. People, crap, on IW. I think too much. This is not F or D. This is like a C, maybe a low B. 
the mad M8, the, the M80 Wonder Weapon was really good if you had all three of the, all three of the upgrades. If you didn't, then it was, it was bad. And you could kill an entire, you could end an entire round in two shots if you had all three upgrades. The map was really big. There were a lot of training spots. Um... What else did it introduce? I don't know. It didn't add a lot, but I still liked it. Also, the Easter egg where you had to do math. Yeah, but it 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 was it was it was. I think it was still a good map. Is it the bonus email? This is like C. It's all right. It looks really good, like Shangri La, but it's. Uh, I don't, I don't know, there's something about it that's just not good. It might be the Easter egg where you have to do challenges and then challenges suck. Um, the boss fight was really good. Um, the, the, the mother spider boss fight was really good. It was just, all right. Town. Out of the bare bones survival maps, this is probably the best one. To go, it's gonna go at the back of B. There was, there's pack a punch. There's six perks. You could do the six perk split, six perk glitch, which I thought was really cool. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> that that was really it. Next. The final Reich. I ooh, the final Reich. It was a good way to start World War Two zombies, and then it just like died. This is gonna go on a C. It was uh, it was all right. The Wonder Weapon was cool. Um, it was a great introduction, but then it just fell. I played this, I played the BO1 version recently, and it was not that bad. Uh, they introduced the Thunder Gun, which is automatically great. This is gonna go above... Actually, I'm gonna put this above the Giant, and the Kino's gonna go above Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Shadows of Eagle, I haven't played a lot, but I heard it's really nice. The Apothecary Servant, the Ap the Apothecary Servant is really nice. Uh, it was it was a great way to start uh, BO3, and BO3 had a a bunch of really good maps. This is gonna go right right here. Nope, dust. There we go. And now. Transit. 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 It's automatically an S tier. Like, you can. There's so many good memories you can have on transit. To where memories are made, you can just have fun. No, I'm kidding. It's not. It's not S. It's. I would put this. I'm gonna swap these around. And this is gonna go above Voyage of Despair. You know what? Since Voyage is so bad, I'm gonna put it below Bus Depot. Bus. Oh, uh, no. Nuketown. Uh. This is. I like Nuketown. A lot of people don't like Nuketown. I like it. This is gonna go. Um. Above Kino. Next. The mess the mess Mephistopheles fight is I I have I've only played it once and I don't remember so I can't rank that. Next we have Revelations. I've never played this one a lot too. But it's it's alright. It's it's really easy. 
but it's nice. I'm gonna put it right. I'm trying to put it above the giant. There we go. Mob of the Dead. This is automatically an A tier. You know what? No. Wait. This is gonna go a blow buried in zombies in Spaceland. There hasn't been an S yet because I. Is, for me, Mob of the Dead is just too complicated. I don't understand it. <laughs> can can we? <laughs> These are both going in F. I changed my mind. The launch maps in Blood of the Dead, besides nine, were so bad. The Beast from Beyond. Now, is it as good as Attack of the Radioactive Thing? No. Is, does it deserve F tier like everyone says it does? No. This is, I think, above the... F uh, above Zetsubo. But below the Final Reich. I like The Beast from Beyond. Whoa. Op opinion warning, by the way. A farm. It... It only has one box location, but it has four perks, so that makes it above Bus Depot. And yeah, that, that that's really it. And it also has Galvin Knuckles, I think. I might be wrong. The diner. If we're just ranking this about the the turned, which is the game mode for a diner. Diner is. With with friends turned it's oh it's so it's so good. It's gonna go for the turned game mode. It's gonna go to D. I know it said it's so good, but if you don't have friends, it's it you you can't really plan it and and like the zombie you basically have an unfair advantage. But I can't put it above Zetsubo. <sighs> Infection. It's not as bad as the, the the Black Ops 4 launch maps. But this is gonna go. It's gonna go above transit but below diner. Or, or sorry, above transit. You know, I'm gonna put diner here. There we go. Infection by round when that boss zombie comes with the police shield, it's basically over. And Advanced Warfare has that garbage upgrading system where instead of pack a punching, you have to upgrade your weapon to the Mark II, the Mark III, the Mark IV, into like the Mark 25. It it I I no. If it if the weapon upgrade system in advanced warfare was a little was like cheaper like only maybe a thousand five hundred or maybe even a thousand voice crack it would be way better but it no origins it's at it it's above mob of the dead it's too complicated for me still but it's it's still really good. Next. Darice is better than the giant because of how much it, it made. But Darice added so much things. It added um, Pack-a-Punch for the most part. And I only think that's it. Damn. But it added pack a punch, and that that makes it a lot better than that 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 innovation makes it a lot better than most maps. So it's gonna go above Kino, dear Totem. Next, outbreak. Outbreak. It was a good way to start, like a lot of games. But, d I think this scent is better. I'm gonna put it above Revelations. 
Actually, I'm going to put it above Shadows of Evil. There we go. The Rise and Direct. This is... I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put Spaceland and Buried in Nest here. The Rise and Direct is so good. The bows. Um... J the the bows were nice. The Easter egg was good. It's just I just like in Die Rise, you can put your gun in the pack punch, and then it can just teleport, and you lose that gun. Let's go. But now is knocked there on Totem. Hmm. It started zombies. But it's not good. But it's better than but it's but it's better than bus depot. But it's worse than farm because farm has perks. And yeah, that yeah. Grosten House is is here. It's really small. It's I think it's the smallest zombie map. And. It only has one box location. It's... It's a good map. It just gets really boring. Classified never played. Wait, oh, I took classified from... Okay. Five. Speaking of classified. Um, if you didn't know what classified is, the remake of five. Five... Is gonna go in the C tier. It's alright, it's just, when you go from Kino to 5, and the difficulty just ramps up that quickly. Uh, and the Pentagon Thief, he, he's a cool boss. And the, any, and 5 introduced the best drop of all time. The Bon, is it called the Bonfire Sale? I don't know, but it makes it so that you can only pay, that pack punch is only $1,000 instead of 5000 so, let's go five. But now, we have- I didn't pick one. Stop. Moon. <sighs> How do I rank this? Moon is- <laughs> It's better than Nuketown, I think. Descent, oh my god, I'm being like Norj456, it's a top 5 zombies. I really gotta, there, okay, is there anything that's better than Descent here? I'm not sure. But now, we have Dead of the, I never played that one. Verrocked. This map introduced perks. So, I'm gonna put, and it's really fun, but it's also really hard. And I'm gonna put this... Right here. There we go. Um. Oh, I took four. <laughs> Raven the Woodwoods. The Raven the Redwoods. It's a map you can actually see in the night. Th let's go. Uh, Rave mode was cool, but if you did it past round ten, you would just die automatically. A. Uh, the, the crossbows were cool, but they were so complicated to learn how to actually, like, use them. The, the East, the boss fight was nice. You got to play as Kevin Smith after you beat it. Uh, it was, it's alright. It's gonna go below five. I took the darker short. God, Kovey, I've never played this one. I don't really have a lot of time on any of the VF3 maps. Grana Crovy. Grana Crovy. From what I've played, it's better that it's. It's gonna go right there. It's. It's good. <laughs> and that's all I can really say. I don't remember much of it. Except the Valkyrie Jones. The Valkyrie Jones. So. <laughs> Now, oh, 
Shaolin Shuffle. People don't like this map too, but I, I like it. It's gonna go in A tier. Above. Yep. I like non track more than track. She. She no Numa. <laughs> it's gonna go below Kino. Actually, no, it's not. It's. It's gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put it below Diner. There we go. It added the Wonder Wolf, which was a an infinite damage wonder weapon. Let's go. But that was really it. There's nobody here. Nine. This was the best Black Ops 4 map. Um, according to a lot of people, I never bought the DLC. And I liked it too. It's gonna go right there. Actually, it's gonna go right there. I liked 9. <laughs> I took the target short. Die Rise. Now, people hate Die Rise too, a lot. And I think it's okay. I'm not Johnny J456 who would kill people if they said that they hated Die Rise. It's just. Eh. It's gonna go above Gross and House. And it tried something new, verticality, but that failed. It's actually going to go above that tubo. There we go. And lastly, Ascension. Ascension is better than Descent. Oh my god, how? Ascension, the pack a bunch was easy to understand. It, the pack a bunch was easy to understand. Um, the it brought back the thunder gun the matrishka galls the matrish the matrishka the matrishka um the the matrish dolls were cool uh what else matrishka dolls were cool the the Black hole device, what is it called? The Gersh device, there we go. It added that, and it was only brought back on Moon, sadly. And it has, um, and it has a bunch of training spots. So this is my tier list. Is it bad? Probably. Is people going to disagree with me? Yes. But it's my opinion. So, yeah. Bye now.